Welcome to TechWave 6.5, innovation for new tech. So, everyone is talking about these, the Raybon Metis, and yeah, they're stylish. They have a camera, they have an AI assistant, and they start at a cool $300, though that price can climb towards $500 if you want fancy lenses. But what if I told you that for a fraction of that price, you could get an experience that's not just a little better, but in a completely different league. These are the Rainio Air, they do unt have a fancy designer logo, and they won't post your breakfast to Instagram. What they promise to do is something the Metis simply can't. Put a giant, private, 200-inch movie screen right in front of your eyes. But is the reality as good as the promise? And more importantly, which one of these is the better buy? One, the problem with mainstream smart glasses, let's be real for a second. The whole conversation around smart glasses, led by Meta, has been fixated on two things, taking pictures and talking to an AI. They're built to be social devices. You snap photos, shoot videos, and ask Meta AI for random facts. But it comes with a serious price tag for an experience that, once the novelty wears off, leaves you with a pair of sunglasses that you have to charge. What if you're a commuter who wants to watch movies on the train without craning your neck over a tiny phone screen? A gamer who wants to get lost in their Steam Deck on a massive virtual display? That's where this whole other category of smart glasses comes in. The Rayban Metis have no display at all not. A single one which is the entire point of the Rainio and the X2. Unboxing and first impressions. First up, the Rainio Air 3S. Right away, the unboxing feels premium. Open that up, and you've got the glasses, a nice braided USB-C cable, different size nose pads to dial in the fit, and a cleaning cloth. At just 76 grams, they're clearly meant for long sessions. They feel well-built, not cheap. The design is sleek, and futuristic definitely more tech gadget than sunglasses, but in a cool, understated way. You get the glasses, a USB-C cable, a light shield to help block out distractions, three nose pads, and the prescription lens frame. The arms are super flexible, and X-Real focused on getting a perfect one-to-one -one weight balance to make them extra comfortable. The key difference is the philosophy. Reno and X-Real poured all their money into the screen and the speakers, not into cameras and AI. 3. The core comparison, where it really counts. All right, this is where the real fight happens. This is why you're here. Both the Rainio and the X-Real use gorgeous Sony micro-old panels, delivering a full 1080p resolution to each eye, with a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate. Let's start with the Rainio Air 3S. Rainio talks a lot about its WeView display, promising ridiculously accurate colors, and it shows. It also claims a perceived brightness of 650 nits, which makes the image bright and clear, even in a well-lit room. They say it's like looking at a massive 201-inch screen from about 20 feet away, and honestly, it feels like it. Now for the X-Real Air 2, it also has that beautiful Sony micro-hold panel and the 120Hz refresh rate. Its brightness is rated a bit lower, at 500 nits, but in practice, it's still more than bright enough for almost any indoor situation. Where the X-Real might pull ahead for some, is its screen uniformity. Some people feel the image is a little more consistently sharp from edge to edge. The color is fantastic, just maybe not as punchy or saturated as the rate. The sci-fi dream of a personal, portable giant screen is here and it is awesome. But both give you a sharp, fluid experience that blows your phone or tablet out of the water. By the way, if you're geeking out on this breakdown and thinking about the future of tech, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Comfort and design with the different nose pads and those adjustable arms what they call their FlexiFit system you can get them sitting just right. It works, even if you're lying down to watch a movie. The X-Real Air 2 is even lighter at just 72 grams. It also comes with three sizes of zero-pressure nose pads and has super flexible arms. Some people who V-tried both say the X-Real is a tiny bit more comfortable for super long sessions. The Rainio lenses are naturally darker, which is great for getting lost in a movie, but less ideal if you need to see your... The X-Real lenses are a bit more transparent, and the Pro model has a killer feature. Electrochromic dimming. Audio quality. The Rainio Air 3S has a four-speaker system that they claim gives a big boost in performance. They also have a whisper mode that uses some audio magic to cancel sound leakage, so the person next to you on the bus doesn't have to listen to your movie. It works pretty well, though some sound will always escape at high volumes. The X-Real Air 2 has an impressive sound system, too, with what they call directional audio. The goal is the same, create a private sound bubble for you, while disturbing others, as little as possible. Honestly, it's a toss-up. Both deliver audio that's way better than you'd ever expect from a pair of glasses. Ease of use and compatibility. You can plug them into anything that supports DisplayPort over USB-C. That means modern Android phones, like the Samsung S, the iPhone 15 series, iPads, most new laptops, and MacBooks, and handhelds like the Steam Deck or ROG Ally. You just plug them in, and bam your device's screen is instantly mirrored in the glasses. There are no batteries in the glasses to charge, they just sip power from whatever they're connected to. 
For more advanced stuff, both have software, Xreal has Nebula, which creates a wild augmented reality interface where you can pin multiple screens in the air around you. Reno has its own software that does something similar. This turns the glasses from just a monitor into a productivity beast. Want three virtual monitors floating in your vision while you type on your laptop. For real-world use cases. Media consumption. This is the killer app. Period. Lying in bed watching a movie on what feels like an IMAX screen is something you just have to experience. On a plane, it's a revelation. You can just tune out the chaos and get completely lost in a film. The old displays make dark scenes look incredible something an iPad screen can't do in a bright cabin. Plugging these into a Steam Deck or a Nintendo Switch is just mind-blowing. The 120Hz refresh rate makes gameplay feel incredibly responsive, and the massive screen makes every game feel more epic. There's no noticeable lag. Productivity. As a portable monitor, these are shockingly good, up and have a completely private second screen for Slack, notes, or research floating in front of you. 5. The gotchas and downsides. Okay, but they're not perfect. Let's talk about the downsides. First, they are wired. That single USB-C cable is non-negotiable, so you will always be physically tethered to your phone or laptop. For some, that's a deal. Second, the screen can sometimes look a little blurry around the edges. If you do want to get the fit exactly right, you have to fiddle with the nose pads and how they sit on your face to get a perfectly sharp image across the whole display. Third, while they work in bright rooms, they really shine in dim environments. Using them outside on a sunny day can wash the image out even with a light blocker. The Xreal Air 2 Pro's adjustable dimming is a huge help here, but that's a premium feature. And finally, let's state the obvious. They have no camera and no AI. If your goal is to take hands-free photos or have an AI identify landmarks, these are not the glasses for you. That's not a flaw. It's just a completely different design philosophy. 6. The Verdict. Rainio versus Xreal versus Raybon. Let's pit them head-to-head -head first. The Rainio Air 3S versus the Xreal Air 2. The Rainio wins on pure screen, vibrancy, and brightness. That higher knit count and wider color range create a jaw-droppingly beautiful image that is perfect for movie lovers. If watching movies is your number one priority, the Rainio is probably your champion. The Xreal Air 2 wins on comfort and versatility. It's a bit lighter, and many find it more comfortable for all-day use. Its clearer lenses make it better for productivity when you need to see your keyboard. And if you can spring for the Pro model, now for the big question. Are they better than the Ray-Ban Metas? The Metas are basically stylish headphones with a camera glued to them. For watching movies, playing games, or getting work done, they offer a core function the Ray-Bans literally cannot perform. They don't even compete. They exist in different universes, and they do it for less money. In one corner, you have social cameras, like the Ray-Ban, Meta Stylish, and Connected, but limited to capturing the world around you. And in the other, you have these incredible wearable displays. The Xreal Air 2 is a super comfortable and versatile workhorse for productivity and gaming. They prove that the most exciting thing happening in smart glasses right now is you and Ed about showing off to the world, but about what they can show to you. They are, without a doubt, a better value and a more useful piece of tech for a massive number of people. They're a true steal. What do you think? Would you rather have a camera on your face or a 200-inch screen in your eyes? Let me know in the comments which one you'd choose.